Oh, I tell you what, you guys are razzing me about this helicoil, about how inefficient it is and how it's not needed and how it's just a waste of time. Well, you know what? That's all well and good. But, you know, if you want to fix threads, that's why they make a helicoil. But, however, if you do want to do this, and you're out in the field and you just want to hack it and do it halfway, half-assed, let me show you what you're supposed to do. Now, I don't have any sitting here in front of me, but you can put a piece of uh, 095 um, weed eater cutting line in there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a couple, three small zip ties what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of measure it. I'm going to cut them off. I'm going to shove these zip ties in the hole. And then basically you're just going to cram the screw in behind it hoping that when it expands, you don't bust out the, uh, the housing of the equipment that you're working on. Kind of get it. But, <laughs> man, that looks like crap. That is not the kind of work that I would want my customer to see. But anyway, you can take and trim this off. <laughs> hey, it worked. Looks like total crap, but oh well. What's up, guys? Hey, it is what it is. Take it with a grain of salt. I don't recommend doing hacks like this. It looks bad, and it just, it. I wouldn't... In my heart, I wouldn't want a, uh, my customer to uh, have that repair handed right back to him. Would you want a customer's uh, unit fixed like that? Or how would you feel if somebody did that to yours? Put it that way. But anyway, guys, hey, if this helped you out, give me a thumbs up and hit that like button. And smash that bell so you'll get all my new videos. Y'all have a good rest of your day. More Medic One.